Hi everyone, it's Barbara Calvano and welcome to your weekly angel messages. I'm back. I took a little break from making some videos and so here we go. This week the messages are for the week of May 16th through the 22nd. And this week I was guided to use the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. This is a great deck if you are looking for um, like a quick answer, but they also can be used for an extended reading like I'm doing today. And this week I did prepare them ahead of time. I always also have it on my newsletter, which you can subscribe to at uh, bcalvanocoaching.com. And also, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate your support. And if you feel guided, please share it with others. So these are a beautiful deck, and each week I always bless the deck, I bless the reading, and I ask the angels and archangels and Jesus and Mary to assist me in providing some intuition and guidance for myself and for your benefit. And so, for the beginning of the week we have the message abundance. And abundance at first thought, people think of money, but it isn't just money and finances, it's also opportunities, ideas, it could also be incidences and circumstances that happen that may be uncomfortable, but in their own way they are filled with abundance of opportunities for change and transformation. So for the beginning of the week, really be on the look for, I'm going to say, you know, whatever's happening is filled with abundance. That's what the angels are saying. You know, you can even have anxiety with the news in the world right now, but there is a catch-22 to it. At this time in the world, it's really important to continue to keep your light strong, your optimism, do your spiritual practices daily so that you can be the best, your best self. It's challenging times. And it's very easy to go the path of negativity and worry. It's a really strong pull right now. So if you've ever had a spiritual toolbox of practices that you can do, now's the time to really use them this year. It's going to be a challenging year, but a great year. And so at the beginning of the week, look at what's happening, Monday, Tuesday. And if you can see the abundance, great. If you can't, take a moment and see how could this actually be empowering me. It may be like your circumstances aren't great, but that is the true abundant opportunity for you to dig deep and finally transform an area of your life that may have been bothering you for years. So that's the beginning of the week. For the middle of the week, we have the card Forgiveness. Wonderful. Forgiveness is the highest act you can do as a human being. And as I have said before, it's not necessarily forgiving the act itself. It is more about forgiving the other human being. Because as long as we invest energy of having um, any type of resentments or anger or such as that, it's taking away from your power. You're giving them your power. So really look at who you can forgive and also perhaps forgive yourself. If you've been too harsh or too critical about yourself, about your circumstances in your life, it's very easy to do that. With social media, it's very easy to start comparing. Forgive yourself. You know, just give yourself a break. And that's the middle of the week. Forgiveness is going to be a very powerful tool that you could use. And not that you can't use these tools at any, at any time, at any given day, 365 days a year. But in our weekly readings, there are times when there's a particular energy that it's like a specific vitamin that's really going to help you this week. And then for the end of the week, we have the message, no. Now, interesting, in this deck, there are two no's. This no is plain N-O, and there's another card that is N-O apostrophe, not apostrophe, exclamation point. There we go. So this is not that one. This is just no. And what the angels are saying is that no, not right now. No, 
wait five minutes before the miracle, as they say in the 12-step programs. It's a temporary delay. Everything is in divine timing. So that which you've been working for, if you've been pushing too hard, maybe even trying to force an outcome, breathe and know that the no that you're getting, it's just, it's just another uh, answer to allowing the yes to come. So this could be in relationships, it could be with your health, with your business clients, it could be even ideas that you're working with, you know. But know that um, there's going to be a no. And no is not bad. No is just uh, an alternative. It's, uh, it's not bad. It's just what it is. We add meaning to rejection and no's in life. And actually, it's just a way of being, right? So we don't have to add more energy to it. So this week, it's very interesting. We have abundance, we have forgiveness, and we have no. No, not right now. So always go within, take some time to meditate, go for a walk in nature, really tune into yourself, get away from uh, social media, do a social media cleanse if you can, even if it's for a few hours or even a day. Change it up and you're going to experience more aliveness, more attunement to who you really are, which therefore you're going to be more joyful and peaceful. So that's the reading for the week. If you have any questions, please contact me at my website or on Facebook at B. Calvano Coaching. And I am available to do personal readings also and life coaching. And I'd love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching my videos. Namaste.